Hello everyone. You are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. x squared over x plus 1 whole cubed plus c over x plus 1 whole squared is equal to 39. Our job is to find all possible values of x such that x is a real number. So, let's start. x squared divided by x plus 1 whole cubed plus to make this uh, x plus 1 whole squared same as this x plus 1 whole cubed, we multiply and divide this expression by x plus 1 like this 3 divided by x plus 1 whole squared, we multiply by x plus 1, we multiply the denominator by x plus 1 is equal to 39. Next, x squared divided by x plus 1 whole cubed plus 3 times x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 whole cubed is equal to 39. Now, the LCM of these two denominators is uh, x plus 1 whole cubed. So, this x squared will come here plus uh, this uh, 3 times x plus 1 will come here. 3 times x plus 1 is equal to 39. x, x squared plus uh, 3 times x will become 3x plus uh, 3 times 1 3 divided by x plus 1 whole cubed is equal to 39. Next, x squared plus uh, this uh, 3 times x can be written as uh, 2 times x plus x and this 3 can be written as uh, plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 divided by x plus 1 whole cube is equal to 39. Now, this uh, x squared plus uh, 2 times x plus 1 will become x plus 1 whole squared plus we make these two terms a group x plus 1 plus uh, this 1 divided by x plus 1 whole cubed is equal to 39. Now, this expression can be written as uh, x plus 1 whole squared divided by x plus 1 whole cubed plus uh, x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 whole cubed plus 1 over x plus 1 whole cubed is equal to 39. Now, this x plus 1 whole square will be cancelled out and here we are left with 1 and this cancelled out. This x plus 1 will be cancelled out with this 3 and here we are left with 2 and in the numerator we are left with 1 x this will become 1 over x plus 1 plus this uh, 1 over x plus 1 whole squared can be written as uh, 1 divided by x plus 1 whole squared plus uh, this 1 over x plus 1 whole cubed can be written as uh, 1 over x plus 1 whole cubed is equal to 39. We suppose that uh, let 1 over x plus 1 is equal to t. So, this equation will become t plus uh, t squared plus t cubed is equal to 39. We move this uh, 39 to the left hand side and we rearrange these terms. We write this t cubed first t cubed plus this t squared 
plus t this positive 39 will become negative 39 is equal to 0 next t cubed plus t squared plus t this negative 39 can be written as a negative 27 minus 9 minus 3 is equal to 0. Now we make a group of this t cubed and this negative 27. We we'll make another group of this t squared minus 9 and we make another group of this t and this negative 3 like this t cubed minus 27 plus t squared minus 9 plus t minus 3 is equal to 0. Next t cubed minus this 27 is same as 3 cubed plus t squared minus this 9 is same as 3 squared plus this t minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared this uh, t cubed minus uh, 3 cubed will become t minus 3 times t squared plus uh, 3 times t plus uh, 3 squared or 9 plus uh, by using this algebraic identity a squared minus uh, b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b this uh, t squared minus uh, 3 squared will become t plus 3 times t minus 3 plus uh, from these two terms uh, we can factor out 1 in bracket left uh, t minus 3 is equal to 0. Now this uh, t minus 3, this t minus 3 and this t minus 3 is common. So we factor out this uh, t minus 3 and uh, in bracket left uh, this uh, t squared plus uh, 3t plus 9 plus uh, t plus 3 and this plus 1. In bracket left uh, t squared plus uh, 3 times t plus uh, 9 plus uh, t plus uh, 3 plus 1 is equal to 0. x t minus 3 times t squared plus 3 times t plus 1 t will become 4 times t plus 9 plus 3 12 plus 1 13 is equal to 0 and from here is the base expression t minus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression t squared plus 4 times t plus 13 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of t is equal to 3. From this equation we see that the discriminant is less than 0 or greater than 0. Discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac and this will become 4 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 13. 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 13 will become 52 and 16 minus 52 is negative 36. So, the discriminant is less than 0. It means no real solutions can be found from this equation. So, we accept only this value of t 3. Now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, 1 over x plus 1 is equal to t. We have supposed that uh, 1 over x plus 1 is equal to t. So when t is equal to 3 then this equation will become 1 over 
x plus 1 is equal to 3. And if we multiply both sides by x plus 1, this will become x is equal to 3 times x plus 1. Next, 1 is equal to 3 times x is 3x. And 3 times 1 plus 3. We subtract 3 from both sides. So, this gets cancelled and this equation will become negative 2 is equal to 3 times x. And if we divide both sides by 3, this 3 will be cancelled out with this 3 and we get the value of x is equal to negative 2 over 3. This is the final value of x. This is the final answer of this problem.